Well, 9-11 was another one of those moments for me. It worked um, be being a Japanese American and um, going to camp. And now having a son who's a Muslim, of course I was concerned. But this led me into creating another kind of residency. And that was with, actually, was one of the people is here today, Victoria, that was a part of it, called Sacred Moon Songs, where we created a musical from the stories of Mexican, Japanese, and Muslim Americans who had uh, experienced similar experience being deported, relocated. Um, and now uh, we have a new project called a Collaboratory in which we created an interfaith performance with 10 artists who uh, are from different faiths and they share their own stories. Um, we just performed this at the uh, Japanese American National Museum. But now I'm, I'm also exploring a new space. And this bowl, the singing bowl, has been an important part of it. It, sound, it sounds like one little sound, but actually, if you listen carefully, it's many sounds, many kinds of vibrations. This bowl came together, this sound came together with a song I had written. After I went to a gathering of Native Americans, these elders, each time before they stood and spoke to people, they always said, Mitapi Oyasi. All my relations, Mother Earth, Father Sky. To all relations Mother Earth and Father Sky to all relations every nation every tribe every family every stranger every friend and every foe every form and every creature to all relations mitakuye oyasin mitakuye oyasin mitakuye oyasin to all relations So how do we get people to really experience their connectedness? How do we get them to experience their own creativity in this time, in this day? It's never been more important for us all to experience our creativity. And because that's all we are, this vibration, this sound wave, And as artists, it's our responsibility, I think, just like these artists here, who have awakened the creativity in communities, in children, in elders, to help us remember that we're all connected, that we all can create, we can all do something to change and better this world. It's in such deep trouble right now. So right now, I want you to experience your connectivity by a simple act of humming to this sound, to this bow. Now, it doesn't have to be a perfect tone because in this cosmic world, in this quantum world, every tone is welcome. It doesn't have to be harmonic, it can be dissonant. It can be different. You can listen to your neighbor, you can be inspired by them, you can go along with them, or you can start your own too, okay? 
You want to take a nice deep breath. Inhale. And hum or make an om. Let me hear you. You can breathe any time you want to. Let's see it louder. You want to make a harmonic tone? Yes, we do it. Louder, come on now. I know you can be louder. Listen to this tone. Close your eyes and fill, fill this whole room, fill this space. Fill it with your wave, your sound wave. A little bit louder. Now if you feel you want to go higher or lower, louder or softer, go. Let's make it sing, come on. Be brave. If you want a solo, go ahead. All relations. Thank you.